All right. We're live. What's up, everybody? This is G. Mr. Drew, here to welcome you to another episode of the Andrew Gloszewski Experience. This is going to be episode... Damn, what episode is it? 357. Wow. And yo, guys, I'm excited. I am super excited. I was just thinking about it. Um, recovering from the last stream, which was a bit of a rough one. You know, not only was it a long stream, I just broke it broke it down into 10 parts. But um, we are past the halfway point. So for anyone just joining me now, I, uh, I've been doing the Bayonetta study since August. So it's been going on for a while. And basically, I have the concept art book. And I just wanted to go through all these drawings because, you know, I bought this book years ago. And I, you know, I love Bayonetta. And this, this art book for the first game has so much work in it that went into creating the character. And so I just knew that one day I was going to go through it and I knew it was going to be a lot. And that was back in August. So I started, you know, with all these designs here. Let me see if I can kind of get this book positioned better. So I started with these designs here, move forward. So they talked about, you know, we've been going through like, you know, colors and designs and aesthetics and you know, the whole patterns here and the type of clothes there. And there's, there's so much that went into all of this. And I've, you know, gone through all these one by one. Some of them I drew small, some big, some this, some that. And yeah, in the last stream, we uh, started with this design and then we just went through this page. You know, there's only four of them here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited because, you know, we, like I said, we've been at it for a while. We are finally at like the crazy part of this book, the, the part that always fascinated me the most, which were these designs, just because there's so much of them, so much information to take in. I never really looked at them individually. And before I started this stream just now, I was like, holy crap. Like, I wasn't sure how I was going to draw these. I don't even know how I want to draw them because I kind of want to do them some justice. But I also... I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I want to spend like crazy amounts of time on this, but like, you know, I'm going to go through these one by one, but even just starting with this one here, um, it's super cool, you know, it, and it's very reminiscent of the page we just left behind with the bat wing hair uh, shape going on. This red suit that I don't know if you can make it out in, you know, the video because these things are so dark and so small. Um, there's like this kind of spider webbing almost a uh, little detailing on her shoes and her pants here which is very reminiscent of this red suit that's underneath this kind of poncho almost this bat wing poncho thing she has these little spider webbings going on in her shoes and her pants so you can see the similarities from here to to here now differences are like the sleeves are different they're you know black instead of white they're shorter than the white ones were um she has these like kind of shoulder pad sleeves situation going on here so it's a different suit different design but there's a little bit of similarities there as far you know especially in the legs uh it's just kind of the upper body that's different and you know the hair but whatever we talked about it What's crazy about this one is she has tassels on the end, end of her guns instead of the, the kind of trinkets, like the keychains sort of thing, like how she has over here. She has like these little keychains hanging off of the end, ends of her guns. Uh, this is the only time I've ever seen tassels. And then that's when I was like, holy crap, I don't know how, how much I want to like draw these. Do I want to go in? Like, I'll probably do this like how I started the series. Uh, so, yeah, now, now that you know what I'm working on, where we're at, and, you know, how excited I am to finally get to, like, the latter half of all of this, all this work that I've been putting into this study, go back to the beginning of it. I think I might want to go back to doing, you know, drawing things like this, um, you know, just drawing it small, getting the details in, whatever, and then kind of like zoom in on certain parts that 
kind of deserve it. So if the sleeve is special, if the shoes are special, if the, uh, you know, there's a specific detail somewhere, then maybe I zoom in there. But for the most part, just draw them small like this. Now this was, these were done with a series of brushes, uh, you know, some like low budget brushes before I got the ones that I'm using now. I, you know, this is all the way back in October. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're, we're, it's amazing how much things have changed just from this amount of time already. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to want to do is kind of go through these things as much as I want to get into detail. It's like, I can, I think I might be able to get a, a lot more fun, at least personally, a lot more fun out of it just by drawing this, um, drawing them small, drawing them quick and you know, with the better brushes that I have now and the paint markers, no less. So similar to this, like, well, I could draw it small and then like zoom in if there's like a particular texture. Maybe there's a detail I really want to capture, or maybe I can't really show the fuzzy stuff, the fuzzy collar here at this distance, but you close in on it and then it's like, oh, okay, I see she had a fuzzy collar or whatever, or she has a fuzzy cuff going along her shoe, something like that. So I think I might dip back into doing things like this. So drawing it small, and then if I like particular details and I kind of want to highlight them, I'll do them like this. Man, I was still drawing the white with a... A lime green marker back then you know how, how things have changed you know and I still didn't have like I wasn't throwing skin tones on her yet Wow it wasn't until this next page I started throwing skin tones because I, I like tried using whatever colors I had and I was like ugh, it's pretty atrocious especially if you start throwing colors on top of colors it gets dark and we know Bayo is pretty much a milky white uh, skin tone not very much melanin but yeah, I think I might go back to this. So drawing things small. Uh, you can see I started drawing things a little bit bigger to start getting details and stuff like that. And then that's when like I just started drawing them like this, you know, moving forward and, you know, still drawing them just a little bit bigger. And I like it. I liked it. But, you know, we spent a whole lot of time on all this stuff already. And a lot of these concepts are kind of repeated. That's you know, what happened, what we came across in the last stream, I was like, yeah, we've already kind of covered a lot of this stuff, so I kind of just zoomed through it. There was a few details that were kind of new, and I wish I'd spent more time on them, but yeah. So, I think that's what I'm going to do, as excited as I am to get to this part, and who knows, maybe I still spend a lot of time, but then, like, I eventually got to drawing, like, these really big, uh, really big uh, renders, just because, you know, to capture all the details that I wouldn't be able to get if it was, like, smaller. And then I, I still didn't have, like, gray markers, and I think I had the skin tone markers at this point. So I started using them. But, yeah, started getting crazy with the details and drawing them. And that's what I'm saying, that some of these drawings that I'm going to be moving on to for these next, you know, four pages, there's some detail, but I don't know if I need to draw them extra big every single time we're gonna be here forever I kinda don't wanna spend my entire 2022 on this study you know what I'm saying I've already spent like more time than I thought I would but it's super cool super dope it's just it's it's getting to the point where it, it's all re it's all repeated so maybe I don't need to spend so much time on on the details like drawing all this stuff in I think I kinda have a good grasp of like what she's doing so drawing things like this is going to be able to at least feed me and for me to grab the information personally um and hopefully you know in these streams i can kind of explain myself a little bit better so that you guys understand like you can see i'm starting to get like disinterested in redrawing some of the same things so i was just like i don't even want to finish these and then this is uh Second to last page that we worked on. Getting back to the small stuff, and I, I really like these. Like, I can look at these, and even though, I don't know, maybe to the to the fresh eye, there's, like, not much going on. But for me, it's like, no, I, I remember all of this. I remember the details and having to draw this or that. So, you know, and I'm really enjoying it, drawing it this way. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Even in the last stream where, you know, there was a, like a lot of loose and rough ideas that I was kind of uh, capturing from them. There's a little, little nuggets of like greatness, like especially, 
uh, here with the hairstyle. I love this hairstyle right here, so I really wanted to capture that. And then uh, even these were really fun. But I knew if I just drew this and I didn't draw like the detail of like this is actually hair uh, that's making this up. I was like, uh, oh wow, cutscene. Sorry, I got Elden Ring playing in the background. Oh wow, I'm guessing this is a big boss fight. Oh, okay, I'm missing out. Anyways, but yeah, like these were really cool. This was really cool. And that's about it. Like these three were, were like my favorites out of this whole page of drawing things. So it's like kind of don't want to linger on things like, like this, you know, you know what I mean? But yeah, these next designs are really cool. Oh man, I didn't even prep the page. Let me, uh, you know what, I could do at least one. I don't have much time to draw tonight. As per usual, you know, daddy's got to pay the bills. So I'm going to have to go to work. But if all I'm going to do is one square, I don't have to prep the whole page. I can save that for tomorrow or something. Let me just get the one square in, and I'll work on it. And yeah, man, let's let's get into it. Let's get this red suit, kind of spiderweb, legging, ta golden tassels, <laughs> bat wing hair, bayo. Let's get this going. Yeah, super excited. I'm missing this boss fight now. Damn. Let's get this ink flowing. There we go. That's another thing, man. She's drawn so tall here. <laughs> wow, I'm missing this whole fight. Damn, I'm gonna have to rewind this stream some other time. I'm, I'm watching Max Dude go through Elden Ring. It's so neat. But whenever I get around to doing like my work and stuff like that, I start to miss a lot of it. And he's been like at this like castle that I think is like a scholarly castle. Let's see if I could draw this. Maybe get a better angle. And, uh, yeah, I've been missing a lot from whatever stream he's doing today. Now there's, like, this super cool boss. I'm missing out on that one, too. Okay. 
Okay. There's one, two. There's that. And okay. And okay. So that other arm is behind. You can't even see. Now she has. Okay. And now our hair is kind of braided upwards instead of just wrapping and twirling in a single direction. They got like a double braid thing going. That's what I'm saying. These like little hair details and, you know, little specificities that are probably going to require me to like really jump in and. as strong as Beyonce pose. God damn, Bale. There we go. That's what I needed. Aside from the spider web stuff, there's not too many other details. Like, she has her witch time here. Oh, yeah. And she has this interesting kind of like drop down situation where there's like this and then it crisscrosses across her abs. And then kind of cuts down, of course. up and then there's like another so it's that. and then yeah she has these like built-in almost like shoulder pads sort of thing going on so how's that Turtleneck. And a big ass shoulder. Okay, and then she has a sleeve. Starts mid bicep. And yeah, it kind of wraps around that way and just, just becomes a glove. Maybe there's a strap there. Yeah, I'll throw in this. I'll, I'll just throw in the spider web stuff, like at the last second with a paint marker.
Cool. So yeah, now let's just jump into coloring this, am I right? Get all these. What else do I need? These golden tassels, am I right? Now she's just missing the bell to go ring ring. It's actually kind of dope. shoes pop out and a second strap Get it twisted. Are we still focused? Yes, we are. Okay. 
this before I move on. Damn, I'm not even watching this fight, but it sounds like like the, the hymns and the ha's and the music going on sounds like some uh, ghost in the shell type of music, man. So good. Yes. We'll just let that ride. Okay. Actually, let me do this first because it's bothering me.
Okay. Where's my black pen? There you are. Oh, I might have forgot a spot. I'll get that. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting thirsty. I filled up my water before I started streaming, I think. <laughs> I may have forgotten to drink it. <laughs> All right. So there's that. And let's get her here.
go. So, so just be a bunch of lines. Bunch of lines. This is such a list of bunch of lines. Oof, why is this so crooked? Is my camera crooked? So stupid. Yo, go get it now. There we go. I was leaving it up over here. Take this, big foot. Thank you. 
right. Where, where are you at? I could use you. Clean up a little bit. Just throw you in for good measure. Okay, so how does this work? <clears throat> okay. That brush again. Clean you up, clean you up. Oh, it's a smaller one. There you go.
appreciate it.
There we go. You are you working? Oh wow. Got pink all over my hand. that on the page. Drip. There. I think the flat bird is doing good enough. I also have to start considering like the level of leveling up of the weapon itself. This will take a while. So I'm gonna bitch out. Give me six K soul real fast. What the hell? I got pinked on my arm too? Damn. What's going on here? Paint all over the place. What's most important is getting my white paint marker working right. Let's pray that this is working correctly. What well, we got? Spider web. Spider web. Spider web, spider web, spider web.
God damn, how much detail can I throw in a little tiny sketch like this, you know? Look at that, my alarm is going off. So it means this is it. Perfect timing. If you could hear the Mario theme playing in the background. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this one, man. I wanna thank y'all for watching. I know somebody stopped by, thank you for stopping by. And uh, yeah, man, these quick fun, I mean, what, what was this, an hour? An hour plus, you know, whatever time I took to break down in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I think uh, tomorrow or next stream, I'll be back to do, uh, elaborate on this a little more. Probably show, like, uh, detail some certain areas, maybe. Uh, I don't know, her, her hair is a little unique. And this will give me an opportunity to revisit the hair from the last time. So I could draw a couple close-ups of her head, some close-ups of what's going on with her her body area with the abdomen and all that other stuff and you know the webbing actually didn't come out too bad it looks pretty pretty awesome even with uh, this minimum detail anyways uh yeah daddy gotta go pay the bills so thank you for watching i'm g mr drew at g mr drew on all socials follow like and subscribe all the links are in my bio along with my website g mr drew art check it out hit me up through there if you wish you can see everything that i'm doing and have done through there and uh, yeah, if you wish to help me help me out some, help artists out, whatever, whatever, uh, help me get through this study faster and uh, get back to my original content sooner, uh, consider joining my Patreon and uh, yeah, get that, get that goal of independence. Get me, get me from having to leave from this beautiful stream and doing all this work to have to go to a job and pay bills and stuff. Ugh. <laughs> and yeah check out my patreon starting at a dollar a month but for as low as three dollars a month you can get annual commissions and uh yeah if you have original characters favorite characters anything you want to see me kind of draw for you um uh, i'm down so check those out and you know i got some like godlike tears and everything like that for like big giant 
uh, drawings and all that other stuff. Anyways, thank y'all, love y'all, peace.